The UK has woken up a reunited kingdom on Friday morning as voters in the Scottish independence referendum rejected ending the 307-year-old union. With all but a handful of the 32 councils declaring results, analysts are predicting a margin of 55% for the no vote, leaving the yes vote trailing on 45%, following a record turnout of 86%. Although the yes campaign secured significant victories in Glasgow and Dundee, the margins were not great enough to overcome the silent army of no voters. A crushing defeat for Scottish First Minister Alex Salmond, he was almost defiant when he took to the stage to address applauding supporters in Edinburgh. Although the vote had been lost, he stressed that 1.6 million Scots had voted for independence, saying he accepted the verdict of the people and that Scotland would go forward as one nation. Scotland has, at this stage, decided not to be an independent country, he said, speaking of the scare and the fear that the rising support for independence had caused within the Westminster establishment. He added he expected the promises of devolution made by the pro-union parties to be honoured in rapid course. Sterling reacted strongly on Asian currency markets overnight, and analysts are expecting a relief rally when the FTSE opens in London on Friday morning. Although the markets may be breathing a sigh of relief, victory for the No campaign will trigger major constitutional upheaval for the whole of the UK. Devolving greater powers to the Scots was the vow that all three British political parties made before they voted. Later today, Prime Minister David Cameron is expected to detail what this could mean, both for Scotland and for big English cities who are now also agitating for more money and power to be transferred to them from Westminster. Keep following the latest developments throughout the day on FT.com.